Oh my god, that hurt. Just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new message to an unknown all. Freaking Widowmaker here, boys, coming to you live and girls. Can't forget the girls. I have an awful lot of women who like to comment on my videos. I appreciate you too. So, welcome. Thanks for watching, commenting, and you're making the men look bad. <laughs> That's right. I have way more women who comment than men. What's up, guys? Anyhow, I don't care. Super happy to have you here, women. Thank you very much. Uh, just don't let me uh, exclude you with my intro. Put it that way. Anyhow, Bull of the Woods is home, safe and sound. He escaped during the eclipse yesterday while all of the nurses were looking out the windows and phew, gone. I picked him up. He's good to go. And uh, we are back at what we were doing today. So today, we're going at this trailer. I am dying to see the tongue on this trailer. I want to see it towable and get on to the fun stuff like decorating. Oh yes, I can't wait. But before we can decorate, we need a floor. Before we can put the floor in, we need a tongue. So let's do it. All right, so like I was telling you in the last video, I got some dandy new steel to build my tongue with. It's right there. I'm in love with it. It's three inch angle, good solid angle. And somebody filled in the angle by welding in some flat bar. They did some decent welds. It's extra strength, so I think we'll keep it. Now, I'm gonna show you what's going on in the inside. Uh, I skipped ahead a bit. You didn't miss much. I welded in the other side, right there. I welded her in, welded her in, painted all my weld zesty orange with some dandy old zesty orange paint that my dad donated to the cause. Anyhow, we got our front plate in, or whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. I'll call it a front plate. And we're using a dandy ratchet strap. Yeah, <laughs> this ratchet strap is actually kind of funny because when I bought the trailer, the ratchet strap was attached to the tongue and the other end of it went all the way back here to the leaf spring hanger, right there. Now, I didn't ask, I didn't say anything about it because I was thinking, hey, he doesn't seem to care about the ratchet strap and everybody loves a free ratchet strap. After I got it home and tore the floor out, I realized that ratchet strap was there to hold the tongue on. Not good, not good at all. Anyhow, my free ratchet strap is serving its purpose right now and holding my tongue up. And uh, if you watch earlier in the series, I can't remember if it was part one or part two, the trailer factory that made this trailer originally had the tongue only coming back two feet, which means that when the truck and the trailer are connected together, all of the down pressure from the weight of the trailer, like say she's fully loaded, all the down pressure pushes the tongue up, right? So the further back you have the tongue, the less likely it is to bend or break. So we're taking her back four feet instead of two. That is the proper way to do it. She's going back all the way to there on each side. And then I have this one. It's seven feet long. It's going in the center and it will be attached to the actual cross member. So that when we're pulling, we're pulling everything because the way they built the trailer, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really my idea of pulling properly. That's for sure. It was ready to pull apart. Anyhow, that's enough rambling. I'm gonna get the welder out and give her a go. Oh yes, she's working a lot better now. We got some sketchy wiring going on here, but uh, it'll do. I'll show you what was wrong. Where is it? So a piece of my liner, and this is a fairly new liner. It's only like three or four years old. Anyhow, yeah, I cut that out. Now the welder is working pretty damn good. Looks like she was shorted out and burnt. Do you have any idea what causes that? I do not. Oh yeah, look at that part. Yeah, I have no idea what did that. Anyhow, she's working better. So if you come in here, you can see I have my tongue started. It's right here. My welder is working a whole lot better now. I wish I would have fixed it a long time ago, but the welder was jammed in the silo on the other side of the van and I couldn't even get at it. So I had no choice but to deal with the broken welder until the van was together and the van could come out. 
Anyhow, here we go. You can see that I have uh, the tongue started. This is going to be much, much shorter. It'll probably get cut off around here. All right, friends, we are ready to put the tongue on. Oh, yes, and I've started my removable tongue design. I can barely speak because I'm tongue-tied about tongues. <laughs> Anyhow, there you go. We've got some dandy bridge parts. It probably doesn't make much sense to you right now, but it will in a minute. Oh! Oh, my God, that hurt. Ow, 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 it burnt the shit out of my fingernail. Wow, the wind is crazy out here. Don't worry about this four inch angle on the top here. This is just a guide to hold everything in place. Uh, you can kind of see what we're dealing with now. Down there on the lower portion, I have a sleeve that will fit this tongue right there. Another dandy friggin' bridge part. So the plan is, actually I'll show you in a minute. We'll put it on. First things first, Whoa, as I teeter and toddle and tumble over. The wind is blowing me away, folks. It's friggin' blowing me away. So we can see there, there's another sleeve for my tongue. That's the rear portion. This is my main tongue, half of it. She goes almost halfway back the trailer to the back. And I'm gonna attach it to those ones. And then, uh, it's hard to explain, but that one, this one and that one will all be carrying the load. We've got really long welds there. We've got welds there, 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 down there. There's welds everywhere. There's going to be more on the outside there, there, and there. And, you know, that's a ton of welds that need to break for this tongue to fall off, which makes it way better than this piece of crap that came with the trailer. First of all, look at this. The only thing holding the trailer to the truck was a couple of welds here and a couple of welds here. That's it. And then like actually holding the tongue on was that. Is there one on the inside? Yeah, there was one on the inside and then a couple down here. So we used to have like eight inches of weld, eight friggin' inches holding the tongue on. I think we have more than eight inches on one weld. Let's see, oh yeah, for sure. For friggin' sure, that one weld right there is, oh geez, 18 inches long. So we have 18 there, 18 there, six inches here, six inches there, six inches here, six inches on the other side. We've got three here, three on the other side, three there, three on the other side. So that right there would be three, six, and 18 would be 24. I hope I said that right. So the other side would be 48. And then we have six, 12, 6, 12, another 24. We've got six friggin' feet of weld instead of eight inches. I hope. <laughs> you can check my math. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. All right, so I'm gonna start welding her up so that we can see what we're dealing with here. This excess is gonna be cut off. Basically, what's going on here is she's gonna be like this. Straight, that will be removed, that will be removed. And uh, there's going to be like a pump out right here with uh, a tiny little wood stove sitting right there on the tongue. I'm going to build a bump out enclosure on the tongue. And basically what's going on here is the tongue is removable. So nobody can steal my trailer without the tongue. Ha <laughs> ha, sucks to be them. You're kidding me. Don't worry guys, I won't bore you with more grinding. Don't mind me, don't mind me, just playing my dumb games. Do I ever hate recording without a gimbal? I really need a camera woman. I need a camera woman, please. Come and record so I can use both hands to work.
Oh, I should have sat on that one. Oh yeah, I would have taken a tumble. Okay, so we now have a trailer with a tongue with no tongue. <laughs> I love it. All right, we now have a silly trailer. <laughs> she looks ridiculous. You, it's re just really weird to weld the tongue onto a trailer with no tongue on the trailer. Anyhow, here's the tongue. She's removable. I'm gonna show you what the plan is. Hopefully it slides right into my sleeve. We will soon see. Oh, that's not gonna help. The ground clamp is in the way. All right. Oh yeah. I like that. I like it a lot. This thing is about 10 times stronger than it was when it was new. So here's our removable tongue. I'm not gonna finish it right now, but you can see when I don't want anybody stealing the trailer, I can take the tongue off. And there's just gonna be uh, pins, two pins, one right there and down there. Any of the holes, it doesn't really matter. My tongue is also adjustable now. Uh, so, we're almost at the fun part. I'm done with the front right now, and I'm ready to finish the floor. Okay, so here's my van. I will show you how high my trailer hitch is. It is uh, 32 to the bottom. 32 to the bottom. Oh, I have a bunch of comments coming in all of a sudden. Interesting, somebody just told me to make a tripod. That's a very good idea, I think I will. What was my measurement, 32? To the bottom, and this is only 20, which means that I need to go up quite a bit. That's all right though, because this trailer is gonna have computers and cameras and tools and all kinds of stuff in it, and I do wanna travel and be able to detach it wherever I go and then explore with my big ass van. I love saying big ass van. Now all of these Tesla people hate gas, internal combustion engines. They call us ICE owners, internal combustion engine, I-C-E. But it's big and it's gas. And if you say uh, big ass or big gas, it both sounds the same. Anyhow, there's my big ass, big gas van. <laughs> Oh shit, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I want to make everything as hard to steal as possible. So, oh man, there's a lot of ways to do that and we're going to do them all. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to build a gooseneck hitch, right? So it's going to come up and then level out at 32 inches or whatever I need. Uh, I'm not going to put that on yet. You can raise this trailer by moving the axle to the underside of the leaf springs and taking these U-bolts and flipping them around, right? So that will gain us a few inches of height, which will gain us a few inches of ground clearance. And I'm going to buy new bushings and uh, this thing's called the equalizer. All these are worn right out. And the holes are ovaled out right there. They almost come right through. So I'm going to buy all new these, all new bolts, possibly a new equalizer set, and definitely new bushings for everything. And then I'm going to show you how to check your bearings on these trailers and how to repack them with grease. And I don't know what the brakes are like on this trailer. We might have to do a brake job on it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Those new tires are deceiving. I don't know why anybody would put new wheels on a trailer that was so bad. Uh, personally, I've never put new wheels on a trailer without uh, checking the bearings and brakes and everything. But I was working in a garage and, uh, you know, I had to do what I was told. Not all bosses are the same. Anyhow, what was I friggin' talking about? Oh, yeah. Anti theft measures. So, my first anti-theft measure is going to be my hitch height because it's going to come way up, way above where most uh, truck connections would be because my big ass, big gas monster van does not have a drop hitch. And that's by design. Normally, these would drop down to normal trailer height. If I did that and then built my trailer that way, 
then anybody would be able to just hook up to my trailer and drag it away. Drag it away. My second anti-theft measure is going to be this removable tongue because when I park the trailer somewhere and I take this out, it's really not that hard. It's just hard with one hand. Oh, come on. You can never get it out when you want it out. All right, she's out. She may need some Vaseline or some sexy oil or something. I don't know. I don't know. But when I park this trailer somewhere, I can take the tongue off, throw it in the van, bring it with me. And then good luck hooking up. I'm also going to have a locking pin so that they cannot cut the lock with bolt cutters or remove the pin, which means if they want to steal this trailer without a tongue, they're going to have to take it down the road with the jack dragging. Uh, another thing that I like to do to prevent people from stealing my trailers is uh, I reverse the connections. I don't have one right here right now. I'll show you. It's not that hard to figure out though. You have female and male connections with electrical. And oh, it's almost snake season. I hate snake season. All right, baby, do you have one? You do not. What about you? Nope. Nope, I should weld that parking meter to my tongue. <laughs> that would be funny. Would you like to be welded to my trailer so I'm always parked legally? Anyhow, I can't find a plug-in right now. Oh, I know where there's one, actually. The one that came with the trailer. Where is it? Okay, so normally when people build trailers... They always put this. This would be the male end because it plugs into a female socket. Uh, the trailers always have this and the vehicles always have the female socket that this plugs into. Now, if you want to make somebody steal your trailer with no lights, all you have to do is put this part on your vehicle and the female part on the trailer. Then any thief who shows up to steal your trailer is going to have uh, a non-matching set. They're going to have two sockets and no plug basically a lesbian connection you know you know they are called female connectors i didn't make it up and then what after that i know i have more anti-theft measures i just can't think of them right now the wind is blowing me away i don't like it i was coming here out of the wind Anyhow, I guess that's kind of it for today. It's five o'clock now. I did a bunch of other things. I got a few hours work done on here. We have a tongue now. The tongue is awesome. I like it. Anyhow, the next video that you see will be adding a couple more of these cross members. I need one at the back. I need one in the middle. And then that's super easy. And then I can start slamming plywood and insulation down. The plywood's going to sit on these in this section. I'm going to have to add brackets in uh, on the other sections. But anyhow, yeah, that's what's going on here. So plywood goes down first and then insulation up to here. And then the next sheet of plywood is going to sit right on there and sandwich it all in. Uh, I have a bunch of insulation. I don't have enough. I want to use styrofoam because it does not hold water. And I never want to see this frame rust again. Anyhow, friends, that's another day and that's another video. I am dead tired, filthy, and ready for a shower. I know I look like crap. I got dust in my hair. I've got holes in my pants. There is absolutely no point in me showering and putting on good clothes to come out here and work. Uh, so, you know, don't think that I'm like a homeless bum or something. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just working and burning the crap out of myself. Anyhow, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed some part of it at least. Probably the part where I burnt my damn thumb. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Comment, rate, subscribe, share the damn video. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>
villains. I say to you now, knock off all that evil.